Here's everything we know about Deadpool 3 teaser. The TV shows up to capture Wade Wilson who actually mingled with the timeline back in Deadpool 2. And we have about the TVA, the freaking symbol of a temporal loom or the tree of life. Mr. Paradox recruiting Deadpool for a mission to save the MCU, but instead Deadpool is brutally killing the TV agents and some say this is happening in a place where Logan died or the Hydra base that we saw in Age of Ultron. And Eliath is in action again that we can see him killing the TVA soldier. And my favorite scene where Deadpool is loading his gun with the swag and Pyro from X2 and our newest addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the villainous Cassandra Nova who is the evil version of the Professor X. This major detail in the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer is gonna change the plot. So in a scene from the trailer where Deadpool lies in a mountain rock surrounded with spike-like structures actually resembles the savage land in the Marvel comics. This is a prehistoric, preserved and tropical area to the most of the X-Men story arcs and other mutant related crossovers which is a part of Antarctica. So the snowy surroundings in the trailer may be related to Savage Lands where Deadpool also made his variants like Lady Deadpool, Darkpool and who knows how many other characters including the rumored Todd, a mutant appearing in the X-Men story arcs and Pyro who we saw in the trailer. So my guess is that Deadpool's designation assigned by the TVA seem to be the places where mutants reside like the places of Madripoor and of course the Savage Lands. This explains that Marvel wants the X-Men to somehow to join the MCU by using Deadpool as a decoy which is pretty obvious. Deadpool is not saving the MCU but instead he will destroy it. This is a statement that what can Deadpool do to bring a destruction and here's how. Mr. Parrock is like the anti-monitor from the DC Universe who wants to destroy the continuity of the universe or he might be an imposter who wants an intergalactic war which will lead us to the secret wars like the Beyonder. Like how in the final episode of She-Hulk, Jennifer Walters changed the context of the final episode, Mr. Paradox in the so-called TVA might be able to control what's happening in MCU. The reason for Mr. Paradox being an imposter is that the fake settings of the TVA, old-fashioned interrogation room and elevators suggest this does not pay any resemblance to the TVA from the Loki TV series. So Mr. Paradox hires Deadpool who is a constant fourth wall breaker in the Marvel Universe with the motive of creating Nexus event which will ultimately destroy an entire universe. So the most apt line from the Deadpool 3 teaser is Deadpool calling himself as a messiah of Marvel. So this is definitely odd for some characters to talk about the movie universe that they reside in, but for a character like Deadpool who breaks the fourth wall discreetly speaking and commenting about the universe. Explain why Deadpool was recruited by TVA is to fix the messed up continuity of 20th Century Fox productions which affect the plot of the universe resulting voids loopholes that cannot be reversed. So my theory is that Deadpool 3 will be directly connected to the Logan movie which explains why there is no subtle answer for the extinction of X-Men after Days of Future Past. So to fill the void created at that time Deadpool will march his way into the Fox universe which he will be a spontaneous cause for the reboot of the X-Men or the Mutants.